hi everyone today i'm going to show you the steps how we can achieve the ftp server with the storage account so we will use the storage account and deploy the ftp server in our local machine or virtual machine or anywhere you want to attach that storage account so let's go to azure portal and start deploying so first we need to create a storage account so i already showed you how we can create but today i'm going to show you again so search on the, the top bar about the storage account click on that and create the storage account fill out the required fields and then it will be a storage account you have to give a unique name so i will give ftp in a small letters and the region and here you can show you or select the redundancy so i will choose local redundancy for this and then simply you can fill out the rest of the things and i will use the default things in this tutorial and simply create the storage account and it will not take so much time so after it will create i will come back and show you the rest of the things so the storage account has been created let's go to the resource for further deployment so you can see the overview over here about the storage account but we have to go further so let's go to the data storage and under the data storage you have to click file shares and create or share the file name i will choose ftp in lowercase and you can select the other options according to your requirement i will just go with the default one and you can see this is here so click on this one and you have to copy the powershell script for the connection so click on the connect and you need to copy this script and i already have a virtual machine running so we will go to this virtual machine and open the powershell paste that script over here so it will verify and validate the rest of the things and then it will create a drive so we can use it further so i think it's there let me check okay the that's the key and here is our drive so we have successfully created our ftp drive in a virtual machine or you can use the same step for your local host machine as well so you just need to click over here and paste any thing you want to paste over here for your files folders and it will work in a cloud storage so we can see this like setup over here as well so we can just simply use this storage account as ftp server and this is how we can achieve that so it's very useful hope you guys like this video i will come back with another tutorial and you will see another way how we can achieve the ftp server or i will come with another tutorial for another specific product so let's wait for that and until that have a good time